So five and a half months go by. I go out one night, man. I, I, I ran and my girlfriend and my daughter tried to chase me in town. I lost them. I went down the streets. I picked up some kid. I told him I'm a cop. I got him in my car. Told me I had the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. I read him his rights. I got the coke in my hand. The kid knew I was a cop. I knew you were a cop. I knew it. I should have never. I knew it. Man, I, I uh, punch in the dashboard. Get out of the car and put your hands on the hood. Kids from New York City. I stopped the car around the corner. He gets out of the car. As soon as I saw his second foot go out of the car, I hit the gas. He pulls out a 9 millimeter and unloaded. At me, full 9, 10 feet away. And an audible voice comes into my vehicle and says, I took those bullets for you. Are you ready to live for me yet? I don't know what that voice is. I have a pretty good idea. But when gun blasts are going off 10 feet, 10 feet from you, it's a little, it, it's awkward. The flashes went through my vehicle. And the voice comes at the same time. And the bullets that rang were drowned out by the voice. And I spun out of town and I'm thinking, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm dying. I'm going to meet whatever this pastor's God I really thought that. I thought I'm going to meet this pastor's God. I had no relationship with him. None. And as I'm out of town, I, I realize that I'm not hurting anywhere. I better smoke all the cocaine I just stole. So I did all the cocaine. Both I, I did two eight balls of cocaine. Quarter ounce of coke. I smoked the whole thing in fast as I could. And every hit I took, it killed my buzz. The voice, I took those bullets for you. Are you ready yet? I took those bullets for you. Are you ready to live for me yet? All night long, same voice. Wouldn't go away. I'm tormented. I pull into my driveway. I'm so petrified. The light's on, as usual. I know that my girlfriend and my daughter are on that couch. I know that they're waiting for daddy to come home again. Same thing, again. I know that I'm going to be greeted with, you're a loser. You're a liar. I hate you. I hate you. I'm leaving you. I hate you. I wish I never met you. The only thing that held us together was our daughter. She was like glue. So I'm, I go to the door. But right before I'm going to go to the door, I turn around and I shine a flashlight on my, on my vehicle. And I have no bullets in my car from 10 feet. I'm losing it now. Oh, my God. This can't hide. This can't. I took those bullets for you. I'm tormented. I'm actually, he's in me. Speaking to me. He's in me. Because I said yes to him. So the seed is in me. I just haven't surrendered to it. He's in me. I haven't given my all to him. Like he gave his all for me. 